Here I am with another resin test. This one, you, you guys know I really like Soraya resins. Uh, even, even their cheap one, Soraya Fast, gives really good results, even though it's, you know, breaks easy, but gives really good results and it's cheap as hell. And you mix almost any resin I've ever tried. If you mix it with Soraya Tenacious, which is their expensive one, you know, even like 10%, it really increases flexibility and break resistance. So you can, you can use their expensive resin in small bits to prop up cheaper resin. So Saray is a company that I like. I, I think they make good resins. And so I wanted to test Sculpt, Saray Sculpt. This one is supposed to be uh, a high resolution uh, resin. You guys know if you're watching my other resin reviews, when I'm talking about resolution for a resin, not talking about resolution for your printer, resolution for the actual resin, what it means is as this resin or any resin that I call a high resolution resin cures, it is less prone to light bleed curing uh, resin surrounding the area that's supposed to be cured. So the more accurate, quote, high resolution resins give you more detailed, accurate prints because they're less susceptible to curing from the light bleed. So it gives you what looks like a more accurate print or now looks like it is a more accurate print, I guess. So the Soraya Sculpt is supposed to be one of those. So let's see. Um, the smell is not strong, but it's a bit odd to me, a little different some, than my other resin. I mean, they're all, they all smell bad, you know, to some degree. And this one has, I'm not saying it's worse, it just has a different smell for whatever that's worth. So some people might like that smell better, some might like it less, I don't know. But I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's neither here nor there. Um, so you're gonna look at high res photos. I'll have them floating in my head while I'm talking, but you know, obviously I'm gonna, at the end of every video, I'm gonna have the close up high res photos so you can really see what the resin is capable of. And it, uh, it lives up to its name in that it holds detail really well. And I think most of these, you know, there's always a trade off. I, I, from my experience now from testing resins, it's the trade off is the more detail you hold, the better you print as a resin. Usually the less flexible you are and the more prone to break it. So the more brittle. Right, um, and resins like this, th this Soraya Sculpt, this is another slow resin. I mean, it cures a lot slower than a lot of other resins. Um, and a lot of the slower curing resins, the reason they hold detail better is because the little bit of light bleed doesn't cure the resin because it, it needs a lot more exposure. So I always recommend these type of resins are much better with your mono screen printers. So right now that would be the Sonic Mini. It would be the Epax X1K. It'll be the upcoming uh, El Lugu Saturn. It'll be the upcoming Frozen 4K small screen, which is really exciting to me. Um, you guys know I'm gonna test the hell out of that and, and, and give you lots of results so we can see if that a small 4K screen should theoretically give me the best prints I've ever gotten. So let's see. Anyway, back to the sculpt. So this is a slow resin. I really recommend it for mono screens and the reason why is if you use it with a regular LCD screen, if your normal cure time for say a, a faster resin with say 10 seconds per layer at whatever height you're doing, this would be more like 15 or 16 seconds a layer. So all that on time will burn out your LCD screen way faster. So slow resins like this, you wanna use these on your mono screens. So anyway, let's, let's not waste any more time. Um, this one, fortunately, when I was doing my brake test and I lost a lot of data, this wasn't one of them. So I, I actually have the spear to do the brake test. So let's, let's see how it goes. So first let's check for flex. Uh, probably 20, uh, a little more flex than I thought. I actually thought this would be more brittle. That was about 20, 30 degrees. Let's just gently do this till it breaks. Whoa, I'm at 45 degrees. I actually thought, wow, that, that went to about 60 degrees before it snapped. I'm actually a little surprised. I, I, from the feel of it, I thought it wasn't gonna be that flexible. Huh. Okay, that's surprising, I guess, in a good way. But let's see, uh, you know, my new thing is not just to do that. We have to see what happens when you drop a mini. So get ready for some bounce. Ah. Everything intact. So what I'm looking for here, and you saw my EPAC's hard resin review, uh, I'm, you know I'm going to turn her over and try to break the hair eventually, but for now I'm just trying to throw it up, let it land and bounce randomly, and see if anything breaks. Nope, I didn't hear any clicks or cracks. 
So, okay, still intact. Let's, let's throw it up to the ceiling and see what happens. Ah, right, let me go get it. So I have to say this resin bounces pretty nice. Now let's see, I think, did I, yeah, I lost the very tip of her hair, which is a thin little piece, so it's not that surprising. I lost two hair tips when I threw it up to the ceiling and let it come down, and that's about uh, four, four and a half feet. She actually hit the ceiling, right? You guys probably couldn't see it. I threw it actually so hard, she hit the ceiling and bounced back down. Um, okay, so, but it, that did pretty well. Let's, let's, this nice, nice little piece of hair sticking up, very thin piece. Let's break that. Hmm, not yet. Wow. That's actually holding up because I'm, I'm hitting it on the spot. Like, she's just bouncing. Wow, that's it. Let me do this off the ceiling again. Off the ceiling into the light box. So, going off the ceiling hard again, harder than last time, purposely going off the ceiling. Uh, she suffered no more damage. So still all that's broken from all those tosses was the very tip of the hair and the very tip of this little piece of hair, which are like thin little parts. I'm actually surprised this thing that I keep throwing on this little hair sticking up. That one is pretty thin and that hasn't broken. Let's, I mean, I'm hitting right on it. What the hell? That's actually stronger than I was expecting. Okay, so the Soraya Sculpt. Tougher than I thought. You know, I'm going to break the, this little piece. Now it's bothering me, though, because now it's got to go. Ah, snapped it off with my thumb. That took some significant, considering how thin that part was, that actually took some force. Let me, let's, let's break her legs. Let's see. I actually feel bad doing this because I hate to destroy anything I printed that looks really nice. But let's, let's give this a nice solid squeeze and break her legs. Okay, significant force, but not incredible force. Let's break the other one off. I have been tossing around though, so maybe that weakened. Let's see. Let's get this other one. Ooh, this one. Ah, okay. I just need a better angle to get the leverage. Okay, that's that's significant force to break. And I mean, you saw me. You saw me tossing around. She's bouncing around like a pinball. Uh, so this this pretty good drop. But like, look. Anything, any of the tiny little thin parts, and I think on any resin I've ever tested, unless maybe you mix in like 20% tenacious with this, maybe it would survive. But in anything that I've tested that's not mixed with something like tenacious, if you drop, you know, four or five feet onto some surface that's really hard and it happens to land on a tiny little thin part, you're most likely looking at a break. But I would give this pretty high marks on durability. So the Soraya Sculpt. This as a resin, again, I still think it's best for your mono screens. I wouldn't, I'm afraid you're going to burn out your normal LCD screens if you use this on it. But all the mono screens are coming, so I think Sculpt is going to be in very high demand. Sculpt gets, uh, Sculpt gets high marks. And I think if you're not abusive to your miniatures, you're actually going to have trouble, down, like from normal, you know, play, wear and tear. I don't think you're breaking this Soraya Sculpt, actually. This, pretty, this is pretty strong stuff. So that's it for my review of the Soraya Sculpt. Um, like I try to do for every resin review, and when I finish my review, I'm going to contact the company. I'm going to see if I can get you guys a coupon for this. Will I be successful? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm well known enough yet to get discounts from all the companies for, for the people who watch my channel, but I will try because I think this, this, is, this is a good resin. I like this resin. Um, and I know Soraya, I think, I'm not sure if it was in Europe or Australia. There was some place I know where this is really hard to get. So I'm sorry if this, if this is something you can't get. But I know in America you can definitely get it. So for the Americans watching, uh, if you want to try Soraya Sculpt, I would recommend that you try it and see how you like it. It's, it's, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's it. Hope you liked. Hope you learned something. Uh, please like. Please subscribe. I am doing a bunch of resin reviews right now. 
And by the way, my resin reviews are supported by my Patreon. I use the money I get from my Patreon to go out and buy resins and stuff so I can test for you guys. So, you know, if you guys are getting anything out of this, you know, please consider supporting the Patreon. Even like a buck a month is good. You know, 30 people come in at a buck a month. I can buy another thing of resin to test. So that's it. I will see you soon and happy 3D printing. Okay, let's ignore the fact that I left her on my workbench and she got a little dusty. Uh, and we're not going to hold that against the resin and hold that against me for forgetting to dust her off. You can see very high detail. If you look at her left uh, bicep, that little bracer around it, you can see the pattern carved in there. That, that's usually very hard for that to come out. So that, that came out great. You can see the belt buckle, uh, belt buckle, the bracer buckle on her right arm came out pretty well. Not the best, but you know, for something this strong, I think it holds good detail. I think we're looking at, you know, the eyes, the eyebrows, you can see the lower lid around the eye. So that's very good detail for me. Again, not the best, but, but very solid detail. And, uh, you know, for the durability it got, it was, I, I'd consider this a very good combination of durability to detail. Um, also, this this is on a, a 2K printer, not my new 4K printer. So, it, you know, I could get better results. All this stuff was done before I got my Sonic Mini 4K in. So, unfortunately, these tests are not on the Sonic Mini 4K. Maybe one day I'll I'll get around to redoing all my resin tests on, on the higher resolution printer and see what, what, what's coming out best. So, the Soraya Sculpt, you saw from the brake test, extremely strong, very, very durable. And you can see it holds the detail really nicely too. So I do think it's a very viable choice for um, for your mono screen printers. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Again, uh, check out my Patreon if you want to support more resin reviews like this. I'm trying to refine my resin test to make them more standard when I break things, so we can all judge better exactly. I'm even going to come try to come up with some kind of durability scale or something like that. So anyway, please like, please subscribe, and uh, happy 3D printing, everyone.